hear about people saying about this life. Yeah. 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 You know, it sounds basic because some people, they don't really mean it, but I usually say about this life and when I say it, I actually really mean it because I tend to have a goal. And I'll tell you guys pretty much my goal after. Um, I've been playing basketball since seventh grade and the passion at first, I didn't have it, but I tend to grow, it tend to grow. And it still runs till this day. This object, which is a basketball, it's not just any basketball. It was given to me my senior year, well, senior night, it was my last home game. And it has all the names of the people on my team, and especially it has the coaches too. But one name in particular that stands out the most is a coach that he's no longer here, he passed away. And so he was pretty much the person who inspired me, pretty much in my high school days, to do what I want to do. Um, by learning about what ba basketball offers you uh, on and off the court, you're going to have a better understanding of who I am. Um, Alright. Oh, and then the first thing I'm, I'm going to tell you, the personal meaning of what basketball is to me, and then I'm going to tell you the culture it creates, and also how I identify myself with it. Alright, basketball, when I ha I'm holding the basketball, right? You know, I'm in control. You're, you have a, there's called a triple threat in basketball, you either pass the ball, you shoot the ball, or you dribble. So, in life, you're in control of your, well, you're obviously in control of your life. And so, sometimes, they're gonna, when you, when you fail to do the triple threat, you create a turnover. And that turnover, in life, you ha you're gonna have your ups and downs. And obviously, you're not gonna know what to do. So, the reason why I'm relating it to basketball is, in life, there's always gonna be up and downs. And it's your turn, well, it's your responsibility to make sure that you, once you make, once you fall down, to, um, to be in control of it again. And also, the culture, the, cu the culture itself, not necessarily says, oh, because you play basketball, you're in the culture. To me, if you are going to say, oh, ball is life, or I, like, basketball runs into me, it's, you have to have the eagerness to, Give it your all, regardless how the score is, regardless if you're having a bad game, regardless if you, you give a bad pass, because it's the next pass that matters, the next play that matters, because at the end of the day, you, if you show your eagerness, you show how how willing how willing you are to not give up in a game, it pretty much shows you how you are as a person. And I just described how basketball, well, the, my personal meaning, and how basketball culture itself, but I'm going to tell you guys how... I identify myself with the culture. Back then, I didn't really, like, I didn't, well, I did like basketball, but it wasn't, you know, it was just a thing to play other than soccer, you know? And and I, I saw that I had su such potential in it, but I didn't want to believe it just because, oh, I've only been playing for a couple years, I suck, I'm not good as, like, other people. So I had such a low self-esteem, you know? And then as I got to high school, I saw that I was actually, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to hear like, oh, I'm cocky and everything, but I'm, I was I was actually better than a lot, a lot of the people who actually played, and I, and I proved it to them, and I was like, you know what, because in soccer, I had my leadership skill, you know, I was obviously, because I've been playing since I was younger, so then I was like, why can't I do that now, you know, why can't I not be a leader in basketball, even though I've only been playing for a while, and so the reason why I was like, and that's what kind of, my since my freshman year, I was like, you know what? I want to be a coach. I want to help other people. So my mission, and I actually talked about with Trinity, who was my coach, who was my friend first. He was like, you know what? You could do it. And so right now, I'm actually in the process of becoming an assistant coach at my old high school. I already did like a run through with them last season as, you know, just helping them out. And so, um, so now, like I said, that was my main, that's my goal I, I tend to accomplish. So hopefully by next year, I well this season I'm good and now you have a better understanding of what basketball represents to me and how um, I pretty much it has become part of me and um, I first talked about the meaning my personal meaning of, of basketball and how I identify myself with the culture and to close it off I've always been a humble person I have as a player and as an individual and so I've never let no gender like tell me, oh, you know, you can't, you don't know how to play, like feel, make me feel incompetent. No, because I've proved a lot of people wrong. And I have this this one quote that one of my coaches has told me: If you can't walk the walk, don't talk the talk. In other words, saying if you're gonna say you're good at something, don't just say it, actually prove it, because then you're gonna make yourself look dumb. Thank you.